Hello and welcome everyone to yet another tech enthusiastic video from Edureka. I am Ravi and today we'll be discussing about job description of a Hadoop developer. Hadoop developer is the most aspired and highly paid role in the current IT industry. This high caliber profile takes superior skill set to tackle with gigantic volumes of data with remarkable accuracy. In this video, we shall discuss the job description of a Hadoop developer. Now, before we get started, Please subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us on the trending technologies. Also, if you're looking for an online training certification in Hadoop, then please check out the link in the description box below. Now, let us quickly begin with the agenda for today's discussion. Firstly, we shall understand who exactly is a Hadoop developer. Followed by that, we shall understand the roadmap to become a successful Hadoop developer. Later, we shall discuss about the skills that are required by a Hadoop developer. Followed by that, we shall discuss the salary trends, job trends, and the top companies hiring Hadoop developers. And we shall also discuss about the future of Hadoop developer along with roles and responsibilities. Now, without wasting much time, let us quickly begin with our first chapter. Who is a Hadoop developer? Hadoop developer is a professional programmer with sophisticated knowledge of Hadoop components and tools. A Hadoop developer basically designs develops and deploys Hadoop applications with strong documentation skills. So the basic definition of a Hadoop developer is as follows. A Hadoop developer is a professional programmer who has some sophisticated knowledge about Hadoop components along with its tools. A Hadoop developer basically designs, develops and deploys Hadoop applications with strong documentation skills. Now let us move ahead and understand the roadmap to become a Hadoop developer. To become a Hadoop developer, this is the roadmap which you need to follow. Firstly, you need a strong grip on SQL basics and understand the terminology of distributed systems, which is mandatory. Followed by that, the next important skill is that you need to be comfortable with Linux basics. You need to know the important commands and terminologies in Linux. Then comes the next stage where you need to have strong programming skills in popular languages such as Java, Python, JavaScript, Node.js and many more. Followed by that, you need to have your own Hadoop projects in order to understand the terminology of Hadoop. Then you need to be comfortable with Java because Hadoop was developed using Java. And the most important thing is you need to have a bachelor's or a master's degree in computer science and engineering technology. And finally, you need to have an experience of about two to three years. You might want to join some startup companies for experience or you might also want to join some internships based on Hadoop. So this is the roadmap to become a successful Hadoop developer. Followed by this, we shall discuss the skills that are required by a Hadoop developer. Hadoop development involves multiple technologies and programming languages. So the core and important skills to become a successful Hadoop developer are enlisted as follows. Firstly, you need to have a basic knowledge of Hadoop and its ecosystem. Later, you should be able to work with Linux and execute some of the basic commands in Linux. Followed by that, you are expected to have some hands-on experience with Hadoop core components. Then, Hadoop technologies like MapReduce, Pig, Hive and HBase are mandatory. Followed by that, you should be able to handle multi-threading and concurrency in ecosystem. Once you are familiar with that, your next stage is to work with the ETL tools. The familiarity with ETL tools such as loading data and processing it using Flume and Scoop is compulsory. Followed by that, you should be able to work with backend programming as well. Once you're done with that, you should be experienced with some scripting languages such as Pig Latin. And after that, you should be having a good knowledge of query languages like HiveQL. So these were the few important skills which you require to become a successful Hadoop developer. Now let us move ahead and understand the salary trends of Hadoop developer. Hadoop developer is one of the most highly rewarded profiles in the world of IT industry. Salary estimations based on the most recent updates provided in the social media say the average salary of a Hadoop developer is more than any other professional. Let us discuss the salary trends of a Hadoop developer compared to other technologies. Firstly, VMware. You can see that the salary trends for a VMware professional lies between the $90,000 to $85,000. Followed by that, we have MySQL. So the MySQL professionals also lie under the same segment. Followed by that we have .NET, VB, which is Visual Basics. Then we have IBM mainframe developers. 
Then followed by that we have C++ developers with an annual income of $90,000. Followed by that we have JavaScript in the same segment. Then SAP developers with a little hike around $95,000 per annum. Then we have Teradata developers. Then we have the second highly paid Unix developers which lie under the segment of $105,000 per annum. And finally, you can see the Hadoop developers with the most highly paid profile which lie under the segment of $110,000 paid per annum. Now with this, let us move ahead and discuss the salary trends of Hadoop developer in different countries based on their experience. Firstly, let us consider the United States of America based on experience. You can see that the average salary of a Hadoop developer in United States of America with experience around one to two years is around $120,000 per annum. Followed by America, we have the average salary of a Hadoop developer in United Kingdom which comes around 85,000 pounds per annum. And finally, we have the average salary of a Hadoop developer in India which is around 5 lakh rupees per annum. We shall discuss the salary trends of Hadoop developers in a much detailed way. You can see that in America, for an entry level Hadoop developers, the salary begins from $75,000 to $80,000. And you can see that for an experienced Hadoop developer, the salary trends from $125,000 US dollars to $150,000 US dollars. Now, followed by the United States of America, we have United Kingdom. Here, you can see that for an entry level Hadoop developer, the salary starts from 25,000 pounds to 30,000 pounds. And whereas on the other hand, for an experienced Hadoop developer, the salary trends from 80,000 pounds to 90,000 pounds per annum. Now, in India, we have 4 lakh package to 5 lakh package for an entry level Hadoop developer. On the other hand, for an experience level Hadoop developer, the salary trends from 45 lakhs to 50 lakhs per annum. Now, we shall move ahead and discuss the job trends for a Hadoop developer. You can see that compared to other developers, Hadoop developers has seen a gradual growth in the rate of requirement. The number of Hadoop jobs has increased at a sharp rate from 2014 to 2019. It has risen almost double in between April 2016 to April 2019. 50,000 vacancies related to big data are currently available in business sectors of India. India contributes to 12% of Hadoop developer jobs in the worldwide market. The number of offshore jobs in India is likely to increase at a rapid pace due to outsourcing. Almost all big MNC companies in India are offering handsome salaries for Hadoop developers in India. 80% of market employers are looking for big data experts from engineering and management domains. Now with this, let us move ahead and discuss about the top companies that are hiring Hadoop developers. The top companies which are hiring Hadoop developers are Oracle, Dell, Capgemini, IBM, Emphasis, CGI, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Yahoo, Medium, Adobe, Infosys, Cognizant, Accenture, Oracle, Dell, Amazon, and many more. Now, let us move ahead and understand the roles and responsibilities of a Hadoop developer. Different companies have different issues with their data. So, the roles and responsibilities of the developers need to be a varied skill set to be capable enough to handle multiple situations with instantaneous solutions. Some of the major and general roles of a Hadoop developer are as follows. Firstly, you should be capable enough to develop Hadoop and implement it with optimum performance. Followed by that, you should be able to load data from different data sources, which might be RDBMS, DBMS, Data Warehouse, and many more. Followed by that, you should be capable enough to design, build, install, configure, and support Hadoop system. Followed by that, you should be able to translate complex technical requirements in a detailed design. You should be able to analyze vast data storages and uncover insights. You should be also able to maintain security and data privacy. You should be capable to design scalable and high performance web services using data tracking. High speed data querying is a must. You should also be able to load, deploy, and manage data in Edgebase. Defining job flows using schedulers like Zookeeper is mandatory. And finally, cluster coordination services through Zookeeper is also important. Now, with this, let us also discuss about the future of Hadoop developers. Major large scale enterprises need Hadoop for storing, processing, and analyzing their big data. 
the amount of data is increasing exponentially and so is the need for this software in the year 2018 the global big data and business analytics market was standing at 169 billion us dollars and by 2022 it is predicted to grow to 274 billion us dollars however a pwc report predicts that by 2020 there will be around 2.7 million job postings in data science and analytics in the us alone if you're thinking to learn hadoop then it's the perfect time so with this we come to an end of this tutorial i hope you had a sound briefing about hadoop developers skills required salary trends job trends future of hadoop developer along with roles and responsibilities if you have any queries regarding this session then please feel free to write them down in the comment section below till then thank you and happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning